Katalin Take, a Romanian journalist, writes for the National Death Row website an article where he makes a connection between the Tate brothers case and the Romanian election year 2024. He states that the Directorate for Investigating Crime and Terrorism has had the leadership position vacant since 2020, and ironically, on the 28th of December, a day before the Tate brothers were arrested, the Minister of Justice puts out an ad stating they want to occupy this position. By arresting the most Google men in the world, the present management team would score a victory in the run for leadership, drawing the conclusion that, and I quote, at a certain level of the system this is actually considered an ordinary PR stunt, end quote. Why? He implies that the D-code could have some influence over what will happen in the Romanian election year 2024, taking into consideration that the new leader will be appointed by the Romanian president on the 1st of March at the beginning of the electoral race. So, landing such a big case will provide a life raft for the current management team and their political affiliation. And obviously, whoever is going to be the head of this organization might provide some dirt on various political rivals and could influence what will happen in Romania for the next four years. What we can understand from this article is the fact that the Tates are just pawns in the grand scheme of things. For their own internal games of power, the Romanian justice and political system are going to capitalize on the notoriety that the Tates possess. Ensuring a thorough investigation and an aggressive prosecutor, as stated by the most prolific forensic psychologist in one of his interviews, the Romanian justice system is under pressure to deliver their best performance so far.